Got you. Yes. Got you. Yeah, it is show dirt time, and it is time to swing the hammer. Nowhereville, Somewhereville, Texas, my friend and I, Greg Hackney, I heard about a lake that was rich, rich with vegetation, and I'm talking about deep grass, like 10 to 15 feet of water. And the beautiful thing about flipping deep grass, yeah. whether you're in Texas like we are, or you're up in New York or Minnesota, <laughs> whenever you're flipping deep grass, here's the beautiful thing. It is like caveman style fishing. One ounce hack attack strike king jig with a rodent trailer. And the one thing about that trailer is it makes that jig fall like a bowling ball. And if there's some stuff to, to really watch from that show that I taped with Hackney is when you get a bite. Yes, sir. Whether you're alone or you're with your partner, Make sure that you are dropping another bait exactly where that fish came from because so many times you'll drop that one ounce jig down in grass, that fish will grab it, but he's got a lot of buddies with him. As fast as you can get your bait in there, the more bites you're going to get. Oh, oh, I let it sink back down. He got it again. There will be damage done right there. The other thing is, as hard as it is to do, and boy, we struggled off the bat. You wanna swing the hammer, you wanna slack line them, and you wanna jack their face in so bad, all you really need to do is tighten your line up and just ease into them. There he is, the elusive black bass. Listen to that sound. Just listen to that. That is like the best sound in bass fishing. When you put your braided line through there and you start swatting, when you start cracking the whip, hearing the sound of braid is pure magic. A lot of those bass that are in that vegetation, look, they don't think that Hack Attack jig is a crawdad. Number one, it's a reaction bite because it's falling so fast. And those fish are conditioned in the summertime in deep grass. If a bluegill comes by, all they do is react and bite it. I've seen it actually with my eyes where you're looking at a plume of bluegill and then you see a flash of a bass eating them. Uh, I was using Seaguar 60 pound, 60 pound thread lock braid. It's actually a saltwater line, but I like that it's white to where I can see when that jig goes down, anything that sniffs that jig, that white is gonna transmit at the surface of the water. Uh, and I think the rod was really key. I was using a Luz Super Duty Medium Heavy flipping Stick. You would think to yourself, well, when you're flipping that grass, you want a real heavy action rod. You don't. You want a little bit of tip to absorb the shock of that braid. High speed Luz reel. Let's go back one more time. Let's go back one more time. Yes, yeah, sir. Get him, get him. Oh, look, there's five or six of them with it. Driving straight down. Do me a favor, this summer, when you are flipping deep grass, number one, get a bait in there as fast as you can when you get bite number one. Or two, try not to crack the whip as hard as we were, at least for the first two hours. Did him, whoa, whoa, that was phenomenal. That was phenomenal. Ta-da! Ta be aggressive, be. Hey, if you liked it, do me a favor, hit like, subscribe, hit that little notification bell, bing bong. <laughs> Crack that whip, boy.